Um, so we can go ahead and get started. My name is Claire Baumgartner. I'm the Recreation Supervisor for the Morton Grove Park District. Um, I oversee Summer Camps Preschool and um, our Kinder Odyssey program. Um, Sue Braubach is here with us. She is my Superintendent of Recreation. Um, so she is my boss. Um, we are really excited to be offering a safe and fun camp this summer. Um, we were able to, we we're happy we were able to get that off the ground and running. Um, so as you guys know, we don't have any field trips or swimming this summer, um, but we are working really hard to keep things fun. Um, we're getting creative with, you know, new activities, new spins on old activities, um, crafts. I am bringing in an entertainer once a session to do a show outside. Um, but so we're really excited to get this started and get going um, and be working with all of you this summer. Um, let's keep everyone on mute during the meeting. If you have a question, um, you can either like do the waving hand thing or um, just unmute yourself and ask a question. Um, okay, so as you guys know, we'll have groups of 10 in different facilities. Um, you will need to send your child with a mask each day, so they'll have to be wearing a mask when they come in. Um, lunches will need to be in a disposable container with disposable cutlery. Um, I have um, I have revised the parent handbook that we had uh, that I had originally sent out for 2020. Um, so I believe I sent an email to everybody that revised parent manual. If you haven't gotten it, let me know and I can send it to you. Um, so I'm just going to go through the highlights really quick. Um, for staff, we're going to have two staff at each site. Um, if you specifically want to know what staff are at your site, you can let me know. Um, in the handbook, there is site cell phone numbers. Um, so I would jot that down, make a note of that so that you have it. Um, if you need to get a hold of your specific camp, that's the phone that you'll call. Um, when you're arriving each day, um, it's going to be curbside drop off. Um, you'll be asked three different questions. Those questions are in the handbook too. If anyone wants to know them now, I can go through them. But um, if you answer yes to any of these questions, they're COVID-19 related questions. Um, if you answer yes to any, your child won't um, be permitted into camp. Um, please bear with us. This is going to take some time. Um, and then for pickup will be curbside as well. And then just like in previous years, uh, my staff can't release children to anybody that's not on the parent authorization form. So um, if you want to make add anybody to that, just let me know in writing and I can add them to that. Um, if my staff doesn't recognize anybody, they'll um, be requiring a photo ID. So they'll look at an ID they don't recognize you. Um, okay, so late pickup. Um, we are, it's the same as last year, 10 minute grace period. Um, after 10 minutes, every minute that you're late picking up the child, there is a $1 fee. Um, my staff will have you sign a sheet saying like when you picked up and then you can pay that fee at the front desk at the Prairie View Community Center. Um, okay, so have your child come like ready, prepared for camp. We're gonna be active, so comfy clothes, comfy shoes are always good, and then come with sunscreen on, and then um, give them a bottle of sunscreen so that they can, they can apply sunscreen themselves. Our counselors are not gonna be allowed to apply sunscreen, so they'll need to do it, or, or a sibling, if the sibling is there too. Um, for illnesses, um, difference this year is COVID-19 related symptoms. Um, I have a list, list of those in the parent handbook. If, um, if you do come down with COVID-19 related symptoms, um, they'll, have, they'll have a set of criteria that they'll need to meet before they can come back. And that's all outlined in the parent handbook as well. Um, it is imperative that you, um, you know, that you make sure that your child doesn't have a temperature, 
um, that they're not coughing, um, that, um, and then just check the rest of the COVID-19 related symptoms on there. Um, personal items that you guys should bring to camp, um, they need a water bottle, sunscreen, a stack lunch, and a face mask. Um, And then the 2020 summer camp care health guidelines, you should have gotten in a separate document, but they are also in the back of the parent handbook. Um, I would take a look through those um, thoroughly, um, make sure that you're comfortable and aware of those. Um, and then if you can enforce those at home as well, it would really help um, getting that prepared in camp, getting the kids um, to understand, you know, this, the need for that safe, those safety measures and all that stuff. Um, a couple of highlights, face masks will be required daily, so they'll need to come in with face masks. Um, if they're outside, um, for the most part, they won't, they won't need face masks. Um, and if they're inside and stationary six feet apart, they can take the face masks off. But if they're moving around a bunch inside um, or if they're outside and for whatever reason they can't stay out of six feet, they'll have those face masks on. Um, and then I have um, a craft kit for each um, kid, so it has all sorts of craft supplies. Um, it has markers, crayons, watercolors, all that kind of stuff that they'll use throughout camp. Um, we will send that home the first day so that if you can write either like write on it in permanent marker or label it somehow with your child's name so we don't get anything mixed up. Um, and then again, lunches just need to be in a disposable bag. Uh, okay. And then, so um, I will need a camp authorization form from everyone if I haven't already gotten it. Um, you should have received that in a PDF from me as well. If you don't have it, let me know and I can send it to you. Um, we will need that by the first day of school, or school, camp, first day of camp. Um, so we're really excited to get started next week. Um, our first theme for next week is sports week. So we'll get active and get outside in a socially distant and safe way. Um, does anybody have any questions or anything that was really kind of all I had to go through? Nobody? Claire, a question came through about nuts, no nuts being allowed. Oh, yeah, no nuts. Oh, is it on the chat? Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Yes, no nuts allowed. Mm -hmm. That's same as, same as every other year, yep. Anything else? Okay, well, um, if we don't have any other questions, I can go ahead and wrap it up. Unless, Sue, do you have something you want to add? Uh, no, I think the uh, head counselors are doing a great job with planning some great uh, ideas and uh, for the campers. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're working hard. Definitely. Okay. Well, anybody can always email us if you have another question. Certainly, yeah. If you think of anything after you didn't want to ask in front of everybody, go ahead and email me. Um, my email is thebongartner at mgparks.com. So, uh, you can also give me a call, 847-965-0604. Okay. All right. If All right. nothing else. We'll see everybody on Monday. Yeah, really excited to get it started. Okay.